The world is moving forward, and in many ways, advances have made our lives easier and created ways that the world is coming closer together. Today, you can know what is happening on the other side of the world in real time or catch up with friends across the globe anytime you want. But at the same time, we still have the same most basic needs, healthy food, fresh water, and a safe place to stay. As the population grows, so does the need for enough food to feed everyone, food that is healthy and fresh. So the question is, how will farmers keep up with these demands. What is the future for farming? Before we get started, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. First, like with most things, education is the key. Farmers today have to know how to work in a lot of areas. If they have animals, then they need to be able to do duty as vets and give emergency care for these animals. They have to be carpenters at times to make things around the farm. They need to be mechanics to fix the machines that break. If you are in the middle of a busy season and something breaks, you can't can't afford to wait for someone to come and fix it. They also need to know how to be scientists. Keeping up with the best methods of growing crops allows farmers to get the biggest yields out of their harvests. And then they need to be business people and know how the market works. So all of this takes time to study and get to know. In most cases, older generations of farmers didn't realize how important it was to farm in a way that was environmentally friendly and that kept their carbon footprint as small as possible. It is super important for farmers today to keep that in mind. So for all of this, they need education. And that is why most farmers choose to study before they start working on the farm. But at the same time, as the need for more food grows, so does the need for more farmers. Or at the very least, for people to be able to grow enough food to sustain themselves and their families. That is why more and more people are calling for agriculture to be added into the school system as a subject, so that kids can learn from a young age how to be self-sustaining and all about what goes into growing food and keeping plants healthy. In this way, if a family does not have access to fresh food from a grocer, then the family will still have the knowledge to feed itself. One of the technological advances that might change the farming landscape soon is autonomous machines. Machines that can be operated without a driver is already reality today, but but it is not yet used as widely as experts predict it will be used in the future. At the same time, companies are making advances in this technology all the time. So I do think farmers will start using it more and more as it becomes more reliable and it gets easier to afford. Soon, all the major machines that are used on a farm, like tractors, combines, and even grain trucks, could be available in a model that doesn't require a human driver. Why would this be important? In many rural areas, the population is shrinking as people move to bigger urban areas. This also means that a lot of the times, the need for people to work as labor on the farm grows. The farmers can only do so much on their own. Autonomous farming will help with this problem and allow farmers to still get the work done even if they don't have enough labor. Buying directly from farmers can become a big market in the future. This is a case of things going back to the way they were, sort of. In the past, people would buy directly from their farmer and get produce as fresh as possible possible. Then the world got too big and we needed to have grocery stores and other supply chains that could bring the fresh produce closer to us. In some ways, we could be going back to where we came from in this regard. The world today is closer than ever. Social media and other forums on the internet have created a way to buy from small business owners all over the world. And this could include farmers. Smaller farms can find it beneficial to sell directly to the public and cut some of the issues that come with working with supply chains. This gives the consumer an opportunity to to buy directly from smaller farms and to know exactly where their food comes from. It is a bit like going back to traditional ways, but using modern technology to be able to do so. Something else that could be in the future for farming? More indoor farming. Yes, indoor farming is already happening today, but there are some issues that need to be fixed before it can become a major farming tool that we can use in agriculture on a large scale. It is still very expensive right now. The technology still needs to be perfected so that any problems can be addressed and indoor farming can be more stable and reliable, but it could become a viable viable option in the future because there are many advantages to it. It is a more controlled environment, so pests aren't that much of an issue. Neither are animals looking for a snack in your fields. They can't get to them. And the problem of invading plants can also be eliminated. When using the vertical method, you are able to get a lot more crops from a smaller amount of land area. Now,
Now, I don't believe indoor farming will completely take over or completely stop the need for conventional farming, but I do think that this will become a useful tool for farmers to use in certain crops that are more difficult to protect in the outdoors. But I guess only time will tell us just how much indoor farming will influence agriculture in the future. Next, I think a larger focus will be put on the importance of microbial diversity. Microbial diversity is basically the things that are in our soil and keeps it healthy and rich. For example, fungi and bacteria that helps organic matter in the soil break down and decompose. So really, it is the way that farmers can create biodiversity and the natural ecosystems in their soil, and then the healthier it will be. And of course, the healthier the soil is, the better the crops grow, and then you get a larger harvest. Studying this and keeping it in mind when farming could lead to a better understanding of what the land and the soil need. It can even result in farmers knowing their soil so well that a change in the systems can show them when a problem is coming before it even happens. Then they rectify the situation before it damages any plants. So, what I am really saying is that there will be a larger focus on working with nature instead of against it or despite it. We will be able to use techniques that will enable us to use the power of nature to help our crops grow stronger and faster without causing damage to the land in the process. The next advance that might be part of farming in the future could be smart supply chains. Right now, we go to the store and buy fruits and vegetables and we don't know how long they have been stored or where they came from. This might change in the future. Future, if you order food online, you can track it from when they are making it until when you receive it. This same technology could soon be used when buying produce. It could enable us to see where our food came from when we buy it. Every step can be kept track of from where it was grown to where it is sold. Who handled it? Who packaged it? Where was it kept? All the information you could want could be made available to consumers. It might even go as far as to give you all the information of the product on the molecular level, what the nutrients are, and so on. This would mean that we could make sure of what we are eating and ensure better quality. Software and hardware to give better information on your soil in real time could also become extremely important to farmers in the future. Machines to scan your land and give you the information on what is needed in your soil could become a major help when it comes to precision farming. Farmers with all the information can make better decisions on what to do next for their fields, and this could lead to bigger and healthier crops. Also, sharing the information to farmers all over the world on a database for farmers could help the world's food supply. Farmers learn from each other and what works best in certain situations. The most important part of farming in the future will definitely be to work in a more environmentally friendly way. In the past, agriculture has been a big contributor in releasing greenhouse gases and causing pollution to the environment. This has to change. We need farmers to grow the food all of us need to be sustained, but at the same time, we need to create less environmental damage to combat the problem of climate change. Farmers are already working hard at creating techniques that are safe for the environment and more sustainable. This will have to be the major focus going forward, making sure to farm in a way that puts less pressure on the environment while still yielding enough food and taking care of the people. Farmers are creating ways to conserve natural resources that can still help to keep their soil healthy and give them healthy and abundant crops. With the earth getting more populated, the need for fresh food grows each day. Food that is easier to access and more affordable for all people, and food that is produced in a way that improves the environment instead of harming it. So, whether that is going to happen indoors or on conventional farming, through education or by the use of technology, farming is always going to be a needed resource for humans to survive. Techniques and technology that scientists and farmers are working on to improve agriculture is incredibly important to all our lives. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what the future of farming is going to be. Until next time.